from God from today. You hear me? Yes. I must live for God. I believe the prayer that I'm offering to you is for your mom. Thank you. That she must not die until she sees you succeed. Amen. But this lady was working with these pipes, I don't know what these pipes they're doing. See these big pipes of water. Yes. Uh, tell her that she also needs to help Mama. That's my sister. Yes. She needs to help Mama. This woman. Hey. I've never seen a woman like this. Who can raise everyone, raise cousins. All of our cousins. Mm. With Sally, that's what I was telling this person. See this woman, Sally. <laughs> Sally, raise everyone. In Jesus' name. Receive this power now. To help you in business. I know Jesus. She, was, she doesn't have a car. She doesn't. Hmm? I, see. I see a white car. Yes, there's a several utility, but it's used by my sister now. Is it white? Yes, it's white. It was a, it's a, her first good car. She used her uh, old Corolla, yeah. then she sold it, then she got this. Because I wanted to tell, uh, tell you that I'm seeing a white car. Yes. It's a buggy. Yes, it's a, it's a buggy. Yeah, so I'm it's seeing, a utility. a white car. But now she is having a, a twin cab, the old Toyota twin cab. Can you hear that? Ah, look, this woman is powerful. But when I touch you, I was seeing this white car. I said, ah, I see this car, but it's not with Mama. It's like I'm seeing a car somewhere, but I'm here, it belongs to this one. Yes. I don't know if you understand. I see a white car, it's a, it's a white buggy. I see bed, but Mama is here. But I'm here, as if. It's with someone there, yes, it's but it's Mama's car. That's why I said, ah, she doesn't have a car, but I'm seeing a white car. You know, as if the, the car is there. Yes. It's used by my sister. She doesn't stay with us. She, she stays in Kumha, it's a small town, and they stay in Cape. She's, she's a firefighter there, so she's using it to, to go oh. and from. Mm. To in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Bless this young man. For the sake of his mom, in the name of Jesus, business wise, thank you. His heart is ready to serve you. Let him understand you better. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All greetings to you guys and to the guys at home. My name is Bulelani. My surname is Kwai. I'm from the Eastern Cape. I'm here in Jobek. I was called by my sister to come here because of how much she thinks I can get help here in this church. But the reason of coming, uh, 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 I'm a businessman. Uh, I have business back at home where we're selling traditional clothes. I have a business that is called Traditional Boutique. Uh, it's been there for a long time. It's actually a business that raised almost everyone back at home. It's run by my mom, so after school, I went to purchase the same thing, like to follow at her footsteps. Then somewhere, somehow I struggled, I uh, got tempted in a lot of things. Then uh, that was the reason why I came here to stop all the things I've been doing, uh, but to serve God and to see if I can do the business again. It's so amazing. That man can see everything. He actually can see through you. like. He told me to pray on my sister. I've got a sister. We are, we are two at home. I've got a sister. She, he told me to pray for my sister and she needs a lot of help. And she needs to help mom back at home. He even said, uh, my mom doesn't have to pass away without seeing me succeeding in life. That's, that's a lot he said. That's a lot he said. Uh, he says, uh, there's a name I don't recall, but he said there's someone I should meet called Jacob. Probably is the businessman who can help me. I don't even know the man. I don't even know anyone called Jacob. Oh, about my mom being sick. My mom is sick now. 
and he she raised a lot of people at home a lot of people almost everyone like all my cousins were raised by mama I, she he didn't specifically tell me what she's sick of my mom doesn't say a lot so she haven't complained to me about her sickness except that she felt some i think sometime three weeks back she fell she feels she just fell i don't know what happened i feel good i feel relieved i feel like i never knew that there are people who are capable of this god is really working in a mysterious ways uh, i would advise people to actually if you have a problem and a serious problem just visit the church visit the church a lot is happening and you need god to help you visit the church i know there are church that has scams but i believe in this